I've gone to the Adafruit website. <clears throat> I'm at Arduino Lesson 1 Blink. I also need to download the Arduino software if I'm working at home and not in the classroom. Arduino 1.6.0. I did the Windows installer and this little icon pops up when you have the Arduino software. <clears throat> I also am signed into my Autodesk 123D Circuits account. This account is a simulator of my Arduino. It's a software version of the hardware, meaning I can work with this and figure out how I'm going to build my circuit without potentially harming my Arduino. The reason I need the Arduino software installed is because this software has a couple of hundred pre-written scripts. And in these tutorials and for the rest of the semester, we're just going to tweak around with these scripts. When you're in the classroom, you don't need to download this. It's already on the computers. I'm going to assume you were able to get this far on your own. I want to work with the PDF and Arduino Lesson 1 Blink. You can also Google this if you're having trouble finding it. I suggest you read through the entire tutorial before you do anything. If you're having any trouble at home completing these projects, you'll have time in the classroom to do them as well. I'd like you to repeat these over and over again. I still have to do this many times. I often get lost as things change. Uh, all practice is good. If it's hard at first, so what? You do it again and again and again and pretty much, you know, tying your shoes in the beginning was hard. Hopefully it's easier now. So we're going to discuss the built-in LED blink. This is the little LED on this Uno. And this is the default software that's making this blink that comes with your Uno before you mess around with it. This is the Arduino. Arduinos can look many different ways. This is just a branded board. Uh, there are unbranded boards that are a lot cheaper. We're going with uh, branded so things are easier. This is a cable. You need this cable talking to your computer because the computer is going to hold the script until you feed it into here. The LLED is right here and that is what blinks by default. There it is on the Leonardo. And it already has the blink example included. We can find that by going to our simulator. I'm going to create a whole new breadboard from scratch so we can practice that. I'm making a new breadboard. And I'm going to rename this breadboard my first Arduino. Well, how about just we'll go lesson one Arduino LED blink. <clears throat> I'm going to call this V2 because I've done this before. <coughs> and you can put more in there if you want. All you have to just click up here, it'll all automatically be saved. You're going to get a default breadboard. You can zoom in and out of this with your middle mouse button. First thing you want to go to, you're editing your circuit. So let's load that. When you press edit the circuit, you're going to have the additional opportunity to add components upper right corner here. And the component that I first want to add after I zoom out a bit is of course the Arduino. I'll drag that in. Okay, we can see that. That wasn't too hard. Replay the video if you get stuck. This talks about how you set up your IDE. Uh, go through Lesson Zero if you're going to do any of this on your own home computer. It shows you how to install the software and such. This is the sketch software that I was talking about. I'll show it up again. 
This is what you downloaded. And this is where you do all your programming on your computer. Then you send it through that USB cable that you saw earlier to your Arduino. Uh, you can then unplug the USB from the computer and your Arduino is fully programmed to do whatever function you ask it to do. <clears throat> but you cannot play with the sketch software without a computer. <coughs> so when you need to program, you need a computer. When you're done programming, you can unplug the computer. Uh, it's asking us to load the blink sketch. So the way you do that is you go File, and you look under the Examples, and it's under Basics. See that? And go Blink. Boom. File Examples Blink. In here, this is a default pre-written sketch that some other very smart programmer did you the favor of writing. So there it is. Examples, Basics, Blink. And check out this sketch. You see there's a few variables we can change. This can be changed to low. We're not going to mess with these yet. We're just going to mess with the delay. 1000 means wait for a second. So if we change it to 500, it's going to wait for half of a second. If we change it for 2000, it's going to change it for two seconds. We're going to save a copy of Blink so we can mess around with it. So I'm going to go File, <clears throat> Save As, and Blink B2. Under Arduino, I think that you want to, oh, you can call it My Blink, follow their directions. And it's going to be saved under Arduino here. If you're doing it this is at school, you probably want to go to your own document folder under your own name and save this so you don't get confused with someone else's if they happen to do this on your computer too. And press save. Notice it changes to my blink here. Notice also that they're all only read only. You can upload them to the Arduino board, but if you change them, you can't save them with the same file. <clears throat> now you've just saved it. So if you ever want to file it again, <coughs> find it again, you go File, Sketchbook, Menu Option. <clears throat> My Blink, see there? That's the one I just created. And there it's showing you again what I did here. File, My Blink. See, it matches that picture right here. Forgive me if I'm repetitive. I know everyone's entering in on this on a different understanding level. Uploading Blink to the board. Attach your Arduino board to a computer with the USB cable. Okay, so we're not doing that yet. We're doing it in the software. So this is where it gets tricky, and I know many of you will be frustrated when you first do this. But it's really, uh, you're just working with software instead of hardware. So how do we do this here? Well. When we brought in the Arduino, it brought in a code editor. So if I open my code editor, look at that. That's the default blink the blink blink thing. You know, it's the default code. So if I upload this and run it, you see there, it's blinking. So I'm going to stop that simulation, and instead of following these directions, I'm going to go quickly into here, copy all this stuff, and I'm going to write over this stuff, just like you do in WordPerfect, right? And then you press, just following these directions, upload and run. And look at that. It's a different delay on here. When you get your actual hardware, you'll see uh, status of the IDE. And you'll see this. It'll be fun. Ours was pretty quick. So compiled it. So here as the code works. The first thing to note is that there's quite a lot of the sketches called comments. Comments are 
after these little oh gosh what are these cursors called slanty lines blink turns on an LED for one second then off for a second repeatedly this example of code in, is in the public domain whenever you have a star oh gosh I am on cold medicine so I cannot think it's worse than usual it, um, this will not affect your program when you have these slashes just put those two slashes in front of anything and uh, that will just be for humans to read the computer will read anything that doesn't have these slashes in front of them you want a slash star for a whole paragraph of text or just two lines if you want one line of text so integer LED equals 13 we'll explain that later void setup that's uh, how you begin coding and it's calling out the LED output see there the LED and it's calling it out as the output <clears throat> and it created this loop routine which you learn about if you take a coding class <coughs> but what you want to be concerned about is digital write LED high delay 1000 delay re LED low delay 1000 these two variables are what you're going to change they made this orange I wonder if they're going to put it on a different LED soon we'll find out uh, so read through this pretty much what I just said the first actual line code is a code is LED 13 because that's what this little thing is and next we have a setup function that tells you what it's going to do every Arduino sketch much have a setup function so read through this because my voice won't be able to take you through and this video becomes too big if I do what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna play around with making it blink faster <clears throat> I'm gonna change my delay and demonstrate to you how to quickly do that I'm gonna change my delay to 500 500 <clears throat> what I'm gonna assume is that this will act faster so I can upload and run look at that that's what it's doing now I'm gonna make it 2000 upload and run look at that it's going a lot slower I must have a pretty slow internet because that's going pretty slow <clears throat> so let's take it back down to 1000 like let's take it down to 250 okay did I mention I had laryngitis it's coming back <coughs> look how quickly that happens so try doing that a couple of times this is a big ac accomplishment when you're done look at that Whee! right so that's lesson one 